Here we are with all the components that we need. Taken out of the packaging, we have the Pokeball, obviously. Made out of metal. Super sick. Um, yep. Pikachu. 3D printed in pure brass. And then polished. We have 3.7 volt LiPo battery. Standard. Add a fruit trinket. 3.3 volts. The LED that we're using for this project. Stupid, right? Mini metal speaker with wires. Uh, single pull, single throw, normally closed switch. So let us know when the Pokeball is open and trigger the circuit. And then some wires to put it all together. All right, let's go. Okay, after many failed attempts, let's see if this one works. Ooh. It's something. I don't know what that weird frog croaking noise is, but it is something. Probably the crudest safety precaution that can be taken in the history of safety precautions, but this piece of tape super glued to the side of the solder uh, to prevent any accidental short circuits. It's horrific. I need hot glue. Finally got it all wired up. Let's do a test. Let's see. There's a power slot. All right, sick. So the LED works in damn zap, right? Yeah. And stop switch. So this will be held down when the football is closed. When it opens, the light is released, and then you can click the top of it. and the Pokeball sound comes. Sick. All right, and here's the finished Pokeball. If you want to clip it onto your belt, it has this neat little thing. Take it out. Cool stand. And you see what's inside. So as soon as you open it, the switch triggers. Boom. Super bright red LED. Single Pokemon out. Pikachu. And then if you want the Pokeball opening noise, just click this. Yeah. There you go. It's done, just click it. Close it. And it goes off. It's really fun to open and close. Yeah. And move on to some demonstration. Yeah. I'm very distracted right now, this is awesome. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video, hope you like what you see, and yeah, see you guys sometime soon.